The Deutsche Bank Commerzbank merger. Deutsche Bank, which which was once a dominant German financial institution, has now become extremely fragile. This German bank managed to make it past the Great Recession of 2009. However, the bank has been facing one challenge after another ever since the recession got over. At the present moment, the bank is functional and solvent. However, the German government is afraid that if the economy faces any shock or even if Deutsche Bank has to pay a big fine, it will simply collapse. The German government isn't very comfortable with this situation. Deutsche Bank is one of their central financial institutions, and financial troubles at Deutsche Bank could endanger the fledgling export-led German economy. This is the reason why German government is eager to merge the Deutsche Bank with Commerce Bank. However, the merger process hasn't been a smooth ride either. The government is facing stiff resistance from employees at this institution. In this article, we will have a closer look at this proposed merger as well as the possible after effects. Why has Commerce Bank been chosen for the merger? The German government has made it very clear that it wants to keep the financing of German small and medium enterprises in German hands. This is the reason why it wants Deutsche Bank to merge with Commerce Bank. Commerce Bank, like Deutsche Bank, was under severe financial stress after the 2009 crisis. The bank would not have survived had it not been for the bailout by the German government. Also, Commerce Bank itself has gone through several mergers. Hence, it has the required experience to manage a merger of this magnitude. At the present moment, the German government has a 15% equity stake in Commerce Bank. Also, it fears that Commerce Bank is also volatile and hence is a likely target for a hostile takeover bid by a foreign bank. The German government, therefore, sees Deutsche Bank and Commerce Bank as two entities which have complementary needs. If left alone, both the entities are likely to collapse. However, if merged together, the combined entities will have the financial wherewithal to survive grave financial distress. Advantages The merger of Deutsche Bank and Commerce Bank would result in many advantages. Dominant firm. Firstly, the combined entity will be a dominant financial firm. It will control over one fifth of the retail banking market in Germany, which is a leading industrial nation. The combined entity is expected to have a market valuation of over $30 billion. Also, the asset under the control of this combined entity will be close to $2 trillion. Size will make a lot of difference as far as both these banks are concerned. This is because a large size will act as deterrent for hostile takeover attempts. Technology costs. Banking has now become a technology-intensive business. This is the reason why the combined entity will have an advantage over its rivals. The combined entity will have twice the budget that other banks have. Hence, it will be able to introduce newer and better services which will help it capture market share. Also, the technological expenses as a percentage of the sales will be lower than the peers of the combined entity. Labor costs Deutsche Bank and Commerce Bank both employ a large number of people in Germany. It is estimated that their total workforce stands close to 140,000 people within Germany. When both banks are merged, there will be some synergies. As a result, it will allow the combined entity to cut some job. This job reduction are likely to reduce the operating expenses of the bank by $2 billion per year. Problems there are many problems and issues which may arise once the Commerce Bank, Deutsche Bank merger take place. Some of these problems have been written below. Labor Unions Although cost-cutting could save Deutsche Bank and Commerce Bank billions of dollars per year, 
this bank are also facing a lot of resistance from German employee unions. The unions are already started spreading negative news. According to claims made by them, the combined entity will lose 10,000 jobs in the city of Frankfurt alone. This is why the talks between the two banks have been stalled. However, banks officials are trying to convince the union that job losses are likely to happen regardless of the merger. Thank you.